Have you ever washed the dishes or used a sponge in the shower? And bet you all said yes. Loofah gourds are sometimes called dishcloth gourds or vegetable sponges. The name comes from the loof, the Arabic word for this plant. Loofah gourds are grown primarily for their fibrous tissue skeleton, which is commonly used as a bath or sauna sponge. Young fruits, generally less than 7 inches long, can be cooked and eaten as squash or substituted for cucumbers in salads. If you want to eat your loofah fruit, you must pick it very young. The more mature it gets, the more the fibers will tend to toughen up. The center of origin and the primary gene center of loofah is India, where loofah is undergoing a lot of research. Loofah acutangula are grown in tropical and subtropical climates across India. The specific variety acutangula is grown largely in southeastern Asia and other tropical areas. In Japan, which is the world's biggest supplier of loofah, the fruit is sliced and dried in the sun like apples. In India, the gourds are popular in curries, while Malayans relish the young leaves raw. And the Annamese people of China like to eat the male flowers and flower buds that are dipped in batter and sautéed. Loofahs are extremely vigorous plants. Vines can reach lengths of 15 feet or more. They make an excellent summer screen plant as they thoroughly cover every inch of fence that is available to them. The plants flower and set fruit all season long. Seeds may take up to two weeks to sprout. Pre-soaking seeds in warm water for 48 hours is helpful to speed the germination. Once the loofah is pollinated, the vegetables rush towards maturity, growing at the rate of an inch and a half a day. Because loofahs grow so tall, they need a sturdy tall fence at least 5 to 6 feet high. Without this, vines will quickly overrun a large area. Although loofahs have a fast growing rate, they may not grow at all some days, and because of its tropical origin, the vine requires a long growing season. It is important to mulch midsummer with compost or grass clippings. This will help to conserve moisture and control weed growth. The loofah vine will grow under a variety of conditions, since it doesn't require much other than sun and good humus rich soil. Like its cousin the cucumber, loofah is sensitive to cold and won't tolerate even a light frost. It is important to plant loofahs in groups four feet apart because it's somewhat doubtful that a single plant will be able to fertilize itself. Many of the flowers fall off without ever forming gourds because the plant is monoecious. For harvest, you can either let the ripe gourd dry for two weeks when its skin has hardened and turned brown, open the larger end of the squash and shake out the seeds. Soak the gourds overnight in water and then peel off the skin and let the gourd dry. Another method is to soak the ripe gourd in lukewarm water for several days until their skin comes off easily, rinsing the interior with water. Created using Paltoon.